Today we're gonna do a quick little project of just taking our timing gear and getting it on the engine. Follow along, I'm gonna show you guys how I throw the cam gear on and get that set up. All right, so if you guys are new to the channel or you haven't been following this, this is my Chevy 4.3 liter V6 engine. It's a cute little guy and we're putting it together to go in my, my old Jeep, my 64 CJ5. Uh, and we've torn it down, cleaned things up, put it together. You have to go check the link, follow old videos, see how we got this far. But today I just want to get a quick project done. I want to get my cam gear and timing set on the engine. Now this is just your standard melling stock replacement setup here. And in fact, I almost didn't even put my new lower gear on. I almost just ran the stock gear that was on there, but I thought, nope, I'm gonna video it today. Might as well do it right, put the good gear, new gear on the bottom and get it all set up. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my contraption of puller and bolts and hose clamp and uh, see if I can make this successfully extract from the crankshaft. All right, is this the right puller for the job? Probably not, but it's not like I had a large assortment of them going on in my toolbox. So we're gonna make this work. Oh, come on, my battery's dying. I'm gonna get a new battery and then we're gonna make this work. Having one of these little sockets is pretty handy. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this around close to where we need it. I need the key sitting about one o'clock. That's pretty close. And this gear, I don't think there's a front and back to it, except we do have to pay attention while there is a front because it has my little, my little mark on it right there. If you can see that little circle, that's gonna be how we line up our timing mark. So, it's pretty important that we get that on there the right direction. Otherwise, we're in the dark on where the timing is. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering, hey, how's this dude gonna get that on there without beating on it? Well, pay attention and I'll show you my little trick. I'm gonna take this socket that's for doing a hub on like a four wheel drive. I'm gonna line it up on there and then I'm gonna whack it with a big hammer. My engine stands rolling away. There we go. All right, that's seated. Let's move it right to 12 o'clock. Our little circle. Okay. And now we get to see how much luck we're going to have making this guy line up. Top gear has its little, uh, the brother to that mark. So we go like that. Oh yeah, it's just spin around real nice. And when we're done, that's what it's going to look like with our two marks. One at 12 o'clock and the other one lined up. That's dot to dot. Now there are other ways you can do it because this thing rotates once for this thing rotating twice. I'm just gonna go dot to dot. All right, so I went ahead and colored in the marks so you can see them a little better, my dot and my dot. I've done a little bit of test fitting. Now for this to work right, the uh, keyway is gonna be at about one o'clock, which puts this dot at 12 o'clock. And then on the camshaft, you want your dowel pin sitting about three o'clock, which should put your dot right there at six o'clock okay and that is what we talk about dot to dot you'll know if it's off if i put that chain on there and this thing's swung around and it's you know like that or like this hey that's that's off and we know that's off this is dot to dot right there okay so before we go ahead and stick this thing on 
We're gonna take a little bit of this fancy uh, engine assembly lube and we'll throw a little bit here on the gear. Make this stuff start to separate on me. Get a little lube on the gear there. And I'm going to put a little bit on the back of this face here too. Because sometimes that'll... There we go, the thrust face there. We'll want that on. Actually, I'll be kind of generous with it. Why not? Now's about the time to cheap out. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and why not put a little bit along these teeth here. All that'll help on the initial startup, get it where it won't wear the metal so much. There we go. Let's just make it a mess. <laughs> hey, all right. Bob Ross would be proud. Now we'll hang this guy on there. We happy with the positioning? I think that's gonna be pretty close. We'll grab our chain, which we have been diligently soaking in motor oil. And I will place that bucket underneath there because it's gonna drip motor oil all over. And I'm just gonna hang my chain on my top gear. Get her to set in there. Get my dot at the bottom. Hook it. And send it. Come on now. And connect. Keep shut. There we go. And that chain sits about... Uh, it won't be too bad. It's a little loose, but it's not too bad. It'll fall off. We got our bolts, which we diligently cleaned. Of course, we're going to use a little thread locker. Loctite, red, or its cheap equivalent. Put a little bit of that on each one. One. And of course, if you have a cam button or some other kind of dowel, or that's when you're going to have that go in there. If you have a locking plate, it'll go in there. But this setup has none of that. So let's just line her back up. Stick the bolt in there. I'm just gonna snug them with this. There we go. Okay, and then we'll double check and make sure we're happy with our placement. I'll move you guys over here. What do you guys think? Dot to dot? I think it's a winner. Now I'm just going to take my impact gun and send it home. No, I'm just kidding. 20 foot bounds, of course, set on the handy dandy Harbor Freight torque wrench. Let's we'll snug them down in equal increments. And then finally, the last thing I'll do is run it through a cycle or two. I like it. I don't see it binding. I don't hear it binding. I guess here's the other place you could have done it. And it would line up and it would work right. See, 12 o'clock and 12 o'clock. But man, it's so much easier. Just go dot to dot. Bring it back around. This time it should line up. 
voice it, please. There we go. All set, torqued in, now ready to apply a timing cover and keep going. Thanks for watching.